Before you record a new action, the action needs to be stored in an action set. So either select an existing action set or create a new one via the new action set button. We recommend personalizing the name of your new action set. Include your name or initials and a description of what you're working on. In the example on the slideshow, I'm going to make my new action set and title it JC Custom Photoshop Actions. Recording an action is where things get a little tricky. It is important to remember a few key steps in the action creation process. Forgetting a step can sometimes lead to disaster. The steps you will follow when creating an action include 1. Open an existing file or create a new document, and this will depend on what your goals of the action are. 2. Always create your new action within an action set. I recommend creating a new one as opposed to adding it to an existing action set. 3. With your new action set selected, create a new action via the New Action button at the bottom of the Actions panel. The new action dialog will appear. Make decisions about the action name, set uh, it will be associated with, a function key to activate it, and the color you'd like it display, displayed as when the Actions panel is in button mode. And then four, you're going to press the Record button at the bottom of the Actions panel. It is a circle icon. This starts your recording, and any edits you make now will be recorded and stored in the action. Don't forget, we recommend creating a snapshot of the current state of the document on the history panel before playing an action. You can support this by creating a snapshot as the very first step in your action. That way, if you forget to do it yourself before playing the action, your action will do it for you. Then you can carry out the commands that you want to record, just like you would normally do when you're editing your image. For the time being, you can completely forget you're recording your action. Just edit your image as you normally would. When you're finished, click the stop button to stop your recording. This, in my opinion, is the most important step. If you forget to stop the recording, your action will include everything else you do between the time that you're done your editing and the time that you remember to press that stop record button.